How do you solve this? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today, pag-uusapan natin ang order of operations, PEMDAS, BODMAS, pareho lang ba yun? At uh, I'm also going to give you a quick quiz sa end. So stick around until the end of the video. Alright? Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe, hit the like button para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang na lessons and let's jump right into it. Now, bago natin ito simulan, pag-usapan muna natin kung bakit may dalawang magkaibang tawag dito sa order of operations. You have PEMDAS and BODMAS. Even a quick Google search will let you know na pareho lang ang dalawang yan. It's just that yung PEMDAS ay ginagamit madalas sa mga American English speaking countries or yung mga naturuan ng American education system. And yung BODMAS naman ay mas British at yung mga Commonwealth. Kasi may pagkakaiba lang sa tawag sa mga ito. Pero isa-isahin muna natin sila. Okay? Sa PEMDAS, you start with letter P. Parentheses. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng nasa loob ng parentheses, unahin mo sila. Sunod yung exponents. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng merong uh, exponent, merong raised to a certain number, or kahit yung mga raised to a fraction, which is yung square root, uunahin din natin sila. Ilalabas muna natin sila dun sa payong ng radical. Kung naguguluhan doon, meron tayong full series na on radicals, simplifying, adding, multiplying, at iba pa, panoorin nyo na lang yun. Okay, link ko na lang din sa baba. Now, next is multiplication or division. As you can see, inilagay ko multiplication or division kasi ang rule or yung ating step na sinusundan is that nasa same level sila, nasa isang buong box. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng multiplication and division happens dito sa step na ito. Now, we go left to right. Hindi na nagmamatter kung dapat strictly multiplication mauuna tapos yung mga division. Hindi. Kailangan lang, you go from left to right. So, kung multiplication yung isang operation pero nasa dulong-dulo siya ng tanong, eh mauuna pa rin yung division kung yun ang nasa left side no equation. Next is yung A and S or addition and subtraction. Same level din sila. Pareho ng multiplication and division, hindi kailangan strictly lahat ng addition ang uunahin bago yung subtraction. Ang kailangan, lahat left to right. So basically, four steps lang siya. Hindi siya P-E-M-D-A-S. It's just four steps. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division on the same step, and addition and subtraction on the same step. Four steps. BODMAS works the exact same way. Kaya lang, ang parentheses ang tawag dahil nga British English yung roots nito ay brackets. Hindi parentheses. Pero again, it's the same thing. Yung grouping. Kaya nga meron din tinatawag na gemdas o godmas. Basically, grouping, parentheses, bracket. It's the same step. Next, you have your order. Ang order dito means same thing yung exponents. Kung meron siyang raised to a certain number or kung meron siyang square root, cube root, or ano pa man yan. Kasi yun ay fraction na exponent lamang. Next, you have... DM, BODMAS eh, Division and Multiplication. But again, same thing as yung PEMDAS, same sila ng level, hindi strictly division muna lahat bago multiplication, you go from left to right. And then finally, you have ANS, Addition and Subtraction, again, same thing, same level sila. So again, ang PEMDAS, BODMAS, it's two ways of saying the exact same thing. Four levels, four steps, yan ang priority or order of our operations. Now, let's see it in action. Here's an equation na gagamitan natin ng order of operations. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use the exact same numbers pero iba-ibahin natin yung groupings. Just to show you how important itong PEMDAS and BODMAS is. Kasi nagpapalit siya ng sagot. If you look at this, 3 plus 4 times 2 squared, walang grouping. Ibig sabihin nun, tapos na yung P and G. Doon na tayo sa exponent. Here we have an exponent, yung 2 squared or 2 times 2. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin siyang 4. After that, strictly, again, dahil kung nagsisimula ka pa, mas magandang kopyahin na lang lahat para hindi magkamali. You have 3 plus 4 times 4. Now, again, PEMDAS and uh, BODMAS dictates mauuna ang multiplication kaysa doon sa addition operation. Which means, uunahin natin itong part na ito ng tanong. 4 times 4 muna, bago natin isipin yung addition. So now you have 4 times 4, which is going to give us 16. Kukopyahin lang natin yung 3 plus, and now you have just one operation left, addition. Again, nasa dulo na siya. 
So 3 plus 16 is going to give us 19. Ang final answer natin for this, kung walang brackets, walang parentheses ay 19. Now, paano naman kung ganito, meron ng bracket or meron ng parentheses? Siyempre, uunahin natin siya. Again, PEMDAS, BODMAS, parentheses, bracket. So, 3 plus 4 muna, itong side na ito, which will give us 7. So, yung 7 na yan, iaabang na natin dyan. Now, you have 7 times 2 squared. Anong gagawin natin next? Dahil ang susunod dun sa PEMDAS at BODMAS ay yung may exponent, 2 squared muna ang solve natin. So, 2 times 2 is 4. And then, you just copy this right here. 7 times 4, 7, 14, 21, 28. The answer here is 28. As you can see, iba na siya doon sa kanina. Kaya importante for us to know this kasi pwedeng magpakahirap kang isolve yung isang equation pero kung namali ka ng order, eh, mamamali yung final answer mo. Paano naman kung ganito? As you can see, yung... 4 times 2 ay nasa loob ng salili ng parentheses. This time, yung exponent ay nasa labas. Again, following PEMDAS and BODMAS, uunahin natin isolve yung nasa loob ng grouping or yung bracket. Ibig sabihin, kukopyahin lang muna natin yung 3 plus. Hindi natin siya pwedeng isolve muna, mamaya pa siya. And now, we have 4 times 2, which is 8. At yung 8 na yan, na nasa loob ng parentheses, yun ang isusquare natin ngayon. So now, you have 3 plus 8 squared. 3 plus 8 times 8 kasi exponent ang uunahin natin which is going to give us 64. That's just 8 times 8. Pwede nyo gamitan ng ganito. Pwede nyo gamitan ng times tables. Kung hindi nyo alam yung finger multiplication natin, ililink ko na lang din yung video sa taas. Now we have 3 plus 64 which is going to give you 67. Again, different answer. Tatlong magkakaibang sagot. Sa isang equation na pareho kung tutuusin yung mga numbers na nakalagay. Nag-iba-iba lang dahil meron o wala o iba ang placement ng brackets or parentheses. Kaya siguraduhin mo that you follow those steps. Now, it's your turn. Quick quiz naman tayo. At the end of the quiz, I'm going to explain kung ano yung mga tamang sagot. But for now, get your pen and paper and your timer starts now. Let's solve number 1. You have the quantity 32 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 6 squared. Now again, unahin natin yung may brackets or parentheses. So now you have 32 minus 4 which is going to give us 28. Kopyahin la lang muna natin lahat ng mga nakalagay para iwas sa confusion. Next, we're going to start with yung E or yung O yung exponent. Meron tayong 6 squared dito. Now, maraming naguguluhan kung ang gagawin ba natin ay i-multiply yung negative 6 by negative 6 or just 6 by 6. Now, ang idea here works like this. Didikit yung base number doon sa exponent at may iiwan yung sign. Bakit? Kasi yung minus 6 squared is like minus or negative 1 times 6 squared. Big sabihin nun, 6 squared lang po problemahin natin. Now, kung ang nakalagay ay the quantity negative 6 squared, that's the time na negative 6 ang imumultiply natin by negative 6. Pero ngayon, it's just going to be 6 times 6. Kukopihin na natin yung the rest ng equation. So, 6 times 6 is 36. Kukopihin lang natin to. Now, anong mauuna? Division of subtraction. Division muna. So, 28 divided by 4 is going to give us 7. Minus 36, so this will be negative 29. Kung naguguluhan dun sa exponents or addition or subtraction na merong mga negative multiplication and division ng may mga negative, meron tayong full series on integers, ililink ko na lang din. Okay? Para mapanood nyo yun. Next question, we have the quantity 75 minus 5 squared divided by the quantity 10 minus 5. So, ibig sabihin nun, same level yung dalawang may parentheses. Now, dito sa first 
parentheses na to. Meron tayong 75 minus 5 squared. Same thing as kanina, yung 5, didikit siya dun sa exponent. Iwan na natin yung subtraction. So, we have 75 minus 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. Lagi muna natin sila sa bracket. Divided by, here we have sa bracket din. So, same step natin sila isosolve. We have 10 minus 5, which is just 5. Now, again, nasa loob pa rin ng bracket yung subtraction. So, kahit na nauuna ang division and multiplication sa addition and subtraction, uunahin natin yung 75 minus 25, which is going to give us 50. Divided by 5 is going to give us 10. So, the answer here is 10. Now, again, lalo na sa simula, it's very important to do it step by step. Ang pagiging careless will lead to mistakes pagdating sa ganitong equation. And kahit ako, eh, hindi ako immune sa mga yan. Lalo na pagdating sa exams kasi nagmamadali tayo. But, it's very important to master these kasi kahit sa mga word problems or sa mga equations further down the line na meron ng mga variables at algebra na ang pinag-uusapan, the same rule applies. Eternal yung order of operations na yan, yung PEMDAS, BODMAS, GEMDAS natin. So, make sure that you master this. Okay? Kapag ready na sila, idadagdag ko yung links sa free downloadable worksheets that you can use to practice dito sa baba sa ating website sa teamlaika.com para masolidify pa yung inyong knowledge dito at ma-master ninyo ang order of operations. Alright? So, I'm hoping may natutuhan kayong bago. If you learned something today, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-exam din sila, dati yung mas marami tayong matutulungan. If you want to help support the channel, you can do that by being a channel member, buying our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com, or getting your very own reviewers, or this banner right here that I designed for people like me who want to keep trying hard. Kung meron kayong malaking pangarap at gusto ninyo na shamelessly, audaciously, bravely ay habulin ng mga ito, this banner may be for you. Okay din siya for your gift. So, kung gusto ninyo kumuha, go ahead and message me sa aking personal Facebook page sa www.facebook.com slash atelaikabaravilla and we'll help you get this. Now, as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Hi, Nian. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.